We turn now to the latest on the Capitol riots. A judge has ordered a former Virginia police officer back to jail before his trial because he bought dozens of weapons, even though he was under indictment for his actions January 6th. Chief investigative reporter Eric Flack is here with the latest in Flack. So the officer and his family are not going to like this judge's decision. No, not at all, Les. In fact, when I spoke exclusively with Thomas Robertson's son earlier this month, he told me the Department of Justice is just trying to make an example out of his dad. Saying Thomas Robertson went on a, quote, firearm shopping spree, a U.S. District Court judge has revoked the pretrial release of the former Rocky Mountain Virginia police officer, who stands criminally charged for being inside the U.S. Capitol with another former police officer January 6th. The judge ruled Robertson violated the terms of his pretrial release by purchasing more than 30 firearms on the Internet and shipping them to a nearby gun dealer to be held. A search of Robertson's home also turned up an M4 rifle, a partial pipe bomb, and two fuses used on training grenades. In a detention hearing earlier this month, Robertson's 20-year-old son Hunter surprised the court by testifying that automatic rifle the FBI found on his dad's bedroom dresser actually belonged to him. They're still just trying to mess with him. I just think that's unfair. Why do you believe they're trying to mess with him? Uh, to make an example. That's what I think. Robertson's defense attorney tried to explain away the other weapons as well, telling the judge that partially assembled pipe bomb was only in Robertson's home for training purposes and that because Robertson had those 37 guns he bought shipped rather than transporting them himself, Robertson did not violate the pretrial terms of his release. But the judge ruled against Robertson, finding that not only had he violated the terms of his release, he likely committed a new felony by having having the firearm shipped on his behalf while he was under indictment. And get this, the judge said this wasn't Robertson's first offense. A previous search of his home in January turned up other guns he'd been ordered to remove after his arrest. The judge also was concerned about social media posts in which Robertson appeared to mock the charges against him and suggest further acts of violence. Thomas Robertson will now sit in the D.C. detention center until he cuts a deal or goes to trial. Plus, so much to unpack there. We'll have to do it later, E. Thank you. Okay.